Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome. Uh, Pastor, in one of your messages, uh, you mentioned how some of the pastors that are out there who are teaching a false message will stumble that Jesus is the only way. And I've been thinking about that, that he clearly states in John 14 that I am the way, the truth, and the life. How is it that pastors who are, or preachers who consider themselves pastors, lead their church to stumble over such truth? Well, the most simple and quickest, and we could end this conversation in 30 seconds, <laughs> Uh, reason would be because they don't read the Bible. They don't study the Word of God. They've been influenced by the uh, spirit of the age. Um, the spirit of the age is an age that is being um, heavily influenced and directed by demonic spirits. And so a demonic spirit is aware that Jesus is the way. The demonic spirits know I mean, think about the times that Jesus cast a demon out and the demon would say, we know who you mm -hmm. are, you know. And so, <laughs> excuse me, the um, demonic spirits know who created them. They weren't originally demonic. They were originally simply angels who fell. So they know that the creator is. They know that Jesus Christ, uh, Colossians 1 tells us, he created all things. And by him, all things continue to exist. It's the Lord Jesus Christ who created all things. He created the angelic um, you know, uh, multitudes and all of that. So they know who he is. And so they are working in opposition to him. And they're doing everything they can to undermine his authority. And so with, uh, with the uh, false preachers, they will always be influenced to not teach that Jesus Christ is the mediator there is only one name given amongst men whereby we must be saved, Peter said in Acts 4.12. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the mm -hmm. life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So there's no other name. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So the scripture teaches us that there is one mediator between God and man, and that is the man Christ Jesus. So without him... Salvation will not be possible. That's why we've been commissioned to preach the gospel mm -hmm. to the ends of the earth, to call people to repentance. That's why Satan works over time to undermine that. That's why Satan works to infiltrate. I'll be doing this Sunday, uh, doing a study on the sin of Ananias and Sapphira, where they are false Christians. They're, they're infiltrating the body of Christ they see the generosity, everybody knows this story, but they see the generosity of the early church, how they, they are selling possessions and distributing to those who have needs. And Barnabas, who becomes well known later on in the book of Acts, does the same, lays his finances at the feet of the apostles. And uh, Ananias and Sapphira see the honor that he receives and, and the attention he receives. And so they sell a parcel and keep back part of the proceeds and distribute a certain amount. And uh, that's why Peter says, why did you know, Satan fill your heart to lie in this way? And to say you gave everything and to keep back a portion for yourself. And so God dealt with that initially by demonstrating that he's a holy and just God and you don't lie to the spirit of God and not receive a right and just retribution for it, right? So that kind of fear is not in the hearts mm. of these people who are preaching a false gospel. And so we didn't invent this. It wasn't something that you and I, that any Christian ever invented. Let's make it difficult for people to enter the kingdom of heaven by saying they need to follow Christ and be born again. It's Jesus that said, unless man is born again, he shall not see or enter into the kingdom. We didn't say that. We didn't make that up. We're just supposed to be faithful proclaimers of that truth. Mm -hmm. And so why don't they preach it? They're not reading the word. They may very well not be Christians themselves. The pulpits are filled with false Christians. We've been in Germany where, where that, that's a profession. You can, get, you can become a, a pastor the way you can become a truck driver or somebody who sells furniture. You just apply for the job, get the training, and all of that. And so there are a lot of false preachers, John. You know that. And some of them just don't like the cost 
that they pay for preaching the message that has been given to us, inspired by the Spirit, and given to us to be entrusted with to proclaim. So, yeah, there are, there are numbers of people, even on TV, that are preaching false Gospels. And the people are falling for it. Because That's they because they're not discerning. They don't read the they don't Bible. Read Bible. They're not part of a church that teaches, and they're not reading it. That's, you know, the only way you get deceived, the main way you get deceived, is by actually listening to something that your flesh is, a, that is a fleshing to that is appealing to your flesh. Mm. That, that's how you're deceived. You know, deception is simply seduction. It's mind seduction. It's a spiritual seduction. It's saying something you want to hear. That's how it works. Now, so yeah, they, they, they don't listen to the gospel because it's not appealing to them. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. And so they'll go someplace where somebody will preach a message that's not, not gospel. And so, I mean, as you mentioned, on Sunday, you're going to go through a snapshot in Acts chapter 5 with Ananias and Sapphira. Mm -hmm. Interesting thing about that is that they were part of the group. They were, they looked like they were part of the group, but sure. inside of them, they were wicked and greedy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's the danger of not under, reading your word because you can look and appear, mm -hmm. but in the inside, hearts are far from the Lord. Absolutely. So, well, Pastor, thank you so much for sharing on that. Uh, I found it a hard time that, again, uh, People don't see Jesus as the only way, and that it's it's a stumbling block for those who call themselves Christians, mm -hmm. and, and so I find that kind of I don't know it's weird, but we're in a weird we're in weird times right now, yeah. and uh, we just got to keep praying that mm -hmm. hearts are open. Mm -hmm. Pastor, thank you again so much. I want to invite you guys again, as we mentioned on Sunday at eight thirty and ten forty five in the morning, uh, as Pastor David has taken us through snapshots to uh, Acts, which will be in chapter five. Also, church reminder that we have our Israel signups on online right now. You can go to our website and sign up. We're going to have an informational meeting July 23rd, Sunday, after second service in the sanctuary. Uh, we have our baptisms coming up in July 30th at the end of the month. So great opportunity for our church family to be involved. We do look forward to seeing you. Pastor, again, thank you so much for sharing some time with us. Thank you guys for tuning in, and God bless you.